in solid state next topic is cubic crystal system the possible variations of the cubic crystal systems are simple cubic which we can write in short as sc this is the primitive type second is body centered cubic or bcc and third one is the face centered cubic in short we can write it as fcc the sides of the cubic crystal systems are a b c and the relations are a equal to b equal to c that means all sides of the cube are equal and angles between the sides are alpha beta gamma and for cubic crystal system alpha will be equal to beta i will be equal to gamma and this will be equal to 90 degree and the example of the cubic crystal systems are sodium chloride copper and zinc plant if we draw the unit self of these three types so one is simple cubic is represented here this is the simple cubic sc and the atoms are at the corner of the unit cells so this structure is the simple cubic structure in which atoms at are at the corners of the unit cell in body center atoms will be at the center of the body also that means at the corners atoms are present like the simple cubic and one of the atom will be present at the body center if we draw the diagonal between the opposite sides so suppose this is the diagonal between the opposite vertices then at the center there will be one atom so this structure is the body centered cubic similarly we can draw the unit cell for the face centered cubic this is the unit cell which is cubic atoms are present at the corner of the edge vertices at the vertices and also present at the center of the faces because there are the six faces in the unit cell cubic unit cell so there will be six atoms present at the center of the faces so one of the faces is represented here and this is the diagonal of the face so this is the point where a an atom is present similarly other faces are this ab above face this is the below face this is left hand face this is the front face and one of the faces backward face so in this way there are the six atoms present on the faces and one atoms at the corners of eight corners so this structure is the face centered cubic now we have to find the number of atoms per unit cell in simple cubic there are eight corners so we have eight corners multiplied by and each corner has one atom and this one atom is shared by the eight unit cells if we draw the structure of the unit cells this is the one of the unit cell similarly if we extend this so this is similar to that so if we consider the atom which is at one of the corner so this atom is shared by eight unit cells so we further extend this as in this way and similarly so here we see this one of the atom marked with red is shared by four unit cell 
which are in the backward position and similarly four unit cells also can be attached from the upward side to this face so that means this atom has eight unit cells which share this atom therefore this quarter is shared by eight unit cells therefore contribution by the one unit cell is 1 by 8 this is the total number of atoms in a unit cell and each atom is shared by 8 unit cells each atom is shared by 8 unit cell so effectively number of atoms present in a unit cell will be 1 so for simple cubic number of atoms per unit cell will be 1 similarly if we calculate for body centered cubic here 8 atoms are at the corner so contribution of each corner is 1 by 8 plus there is a one atom at the center of the cube and this center is shared by only one of the unit cells. So contribution is 1. Therefore, total number of atoms per unit cell in the BCC will be 2. If we consider the face centered cubic, here also there are 8 atoms at the corners and each corner is shared by 8 unit cells. So total contribution because of the corner atoms will be 1 plus and if we consider this face, face is shared by two unit cells. If we consider this figure here, this face is shared by only the two unit cells, number one and number two. So contribution of a face is half, therefore we can write total number of faces are 6 and atom at one of the faces shared by one uh, by the two unit cell so their contribution for particular cell unit cell will be half so total number of atoms per unit cell in fcc will be 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4 so we have to remember that number of atoms per unit cell for simple cubic is 1 body centered cubic is 2 and face centered cubic is 4 next we have to find the radius of the atom in respect of the size of the unit cell 